everybody. Melissa from Buckeye Girls Reason Thing. Oh, I'm cooking today. We're making uh, breakfast burritos. I'm going to make, this is a dozen eggs stirred up. Hold on, I gotta get by my pepper. Dozen eggs stirred up. And on the grill. I'm making enough where I can freeze them because my husband loves to take these on the road. And I'm also going to make some chicken and dumplings. Let's get the camera positioned right so you can y'all can see what I'm doing. Hey, Faye. Okay, this is four chicken breasts that I cooked in some um, that I cooked in some chicken broth. I used a can thing of chicken broth and mixed vegetables and two stalks of celery, all chopped up and cooked. And I'm going to add my thickener. I cheat. This is what I thicken my my ace. Hey Sandy. Hey Jeanette. This is what I thicken my chicken and dumplings with. This is also what I thicken uh This is also what I thicken my chicken pot pie mix. If I was doing chicken pot pie, that'd be it right there. And then I just put this in a dish and put a pie shell over the top. And that would be my base. Normally I put onions in, but Thad right now, his stomach's not feeling very happy. So I decided not to put, I normally put a half onion in this. And since his stomach ain't very happy right now, I just said onion. Hey, Kathy. <laughs> My neighbor wants leftover. I mean, it's easy thickener, and you can pick up those uh, packages of instant mashed potatoes for under a dollar, and it tastes good, so why wouldn't you thick use that as a thickener? A friend of mine who lives in Massachusetts taught me that when I was out there on vacation. And I thought, hmm, she said, we thicken all of our soups and chowders with instant mashed potatoes. I'm like, oh, never thought of that. I, so I brought that home and I used that. Okay. And then another thing I always do with, the, with my dumplings is add... Hey Janice. Hey Linda. Yeah. She used it to thicken clam chowder and corn chowder and all that. So I took that away and, and I, I use that all the time. I always add a can, one can of cream of chicken to my dumpling, to my uh, chicken and dumplings. Thank you, Sandy, for sharing. Like and share. I know a lot of people are on right now. I think Damon was on, or he may still be on. And I think Grandma Jackie went on, so. I know there's a lot of people on right now. 
So I understand that people decide to catch me on replay. That's that's fine. I wasn't feeling too good after my live, so and then Thad's not feeling very good right now, so makes it a little harder. Especially with him not feeling good and being on the road. They are bringing him home early. He was supposed to be out till Friday. But they're bringing him home early because he's not feeling good. Tommy bugs and on the road ain't no ain't very good. Faith girl, drop her, drop her a link to your page, girl. Okay, we're going to come over here, and I'm going to try not to dump something all over the floor, which I'm good at. You know, girls, now I'm good at that. It's going to spill, or I'm going to, if it's going to dump, it's going to be on my watch. Okay, this is two cups of flour in a bowl, four tablespoons of butter, A cup of milk, one teaspoon of soda, Faith, you know you're allowed to come on here anytime you want to and uh, with your business name. Anybody that has a business is allowed to share their link on my page. I need a little more water or milk. Just not enough. Like my little runnier than that. Easier to draw. A lot of people rolls these, a lot of people cut them. Eh, that's eh, not my jam. I do them like my dad. My dad always made the dumplings. He always made the Thanksgiving dressing. He would make these. Hey, Don, missed you, girl. Haven't seen you in a while. My dad would make these out in his shop because his shop had a wood stove and he'd make dumplings on top of the well my dad had a trucking company but he also worked on semi trucks his own semi truck so he uh he would he had a wood stove out there so in the winter time when it was really cold he liked to have something warm so he'd make chicken and dumplings on the wood stove in his shop where he fixed it fixed the semi trucks Okay, I'm gonna toss these eggs. Normally, I don't put as many vegetables in this. I don't, but this time I put a bag and a half because the doctors are telling Dad he needs to eat more vegetables. So I thought I'd add some more vegetables to it. Tried to sneak them in on him. Gotta sneak him in some vegetables. I 
Okay, those are done. Uh, I guess I should take those up. making breakfast burritos and chicken and dumplings. So you're getting two meals in, in one in this video. Because I'm going to use these as freeze for in the freezer. Because it's nice to have a quick breakfast when you don't have the days you don't have time to make breakfast. Because we all have those days. And these are nice to have in your freezer. You can pop them out and and uh, warm them up and uh, I like to add salsa and or guacamole or cream cheese or a mixture of all on mine but if you don't like some of that I know my husband ain't a fan of guacamole You're not a fan you don't have to use it but if you like it that's great too and it's good on these breakfast burritos okay now i'm gonna throw down some sausage oh girl that's a lot of laundry my husband would love that. He loves to do laundry. Hey, I found my clothes. Y'all know he uh, misplays my shirt. Well, they were in his underwear drawer. The last place I think I, I, I looked, the last place I thought he'd put them. Here, I thought he took them with him when what wearing my clothes. <laughs> oh, Don, Don, you sound like sound, sound like you're right up Thad's alley. He don't like guacamole, and the doctors told him he needs to be eating avocados. This is turkey sausage and turkey bacon. Because we're trying to keep it a little healthier. Oh dang, did I turn it off? That ain't good. Hey, Lori. Uh, those were uh, Rachel Ray. I don't even know if they sell those anymore. I think I got them on Amazon, but I don't know whether they sell more. Here's Thad's favorite thing. It's hash browns. And what you do, you open them up. They come dried in a box. We get ours at Costco's, but Sam's Club is a huge one. Then you add hot water.
then you let the hash browns set. What they are is they're dried, dried in the in the box. It's turkey bacon, Damon, and turkey sausage. And uh, we got eggs. We're making breakfast burritos, and we're making chicken and dumplings. Because I have a husband that has a has a his stomach's not feeling very well. So I'm trying to go with stuff that would feel okay when your stomach ain't feeling good. And then I just drop my dumplings in. Nice to have you here, Damon. My fabulous business coach is, is in the is in the room. Hey Paige. Uh the bacon and stuff probably came from Kroger's and the Idaho potatoes came from Costco because Thad buys them by the case because he absolutely loves them. But you can also buy them at Kroger's or anywhere. I think I even seen them at the Dollar Tree. For those that likes to shop at the Dollar Tree. Oh, sorry about that. A lot of people cut their their dumplings, but I just like to like to like to do like my dad did and just dump them in. And just do little scoops and put little ones in at a time, and then let them cook. I guess this is the way he did it, so so that's how I kind of do it now. I mean, it's whatever way you want to do it. I guess it's however way you find it's easiest for you. I mean, I know I have friends that just cut up uh, biscuit biscuits from the store and throw them in and call it dumplings. So whatever works for you, whatever floats your boat. The biscuit ones, I don't apparent, I don't care for, but they like them. Yay, yay for them. Hey Nala, we're doing chicken and dumplings and uh, breakfast burritos, and I gotta get my sausage off there. I think the rule of thumb should be the burn. If, if any of them burns, if that one's bad, I think that should be the rule. What do you think, girl? Actually, normally, Thad makes the breakfast. Thad normally makes the breakfast in our house, so he's going to be tickled to come home and He's got his breakfast burritos already made and in the in the fri fridger, freezer. Because normally he makes these up for work. Every now and then I'll do it for him to spoil him. I'm just scooping and dropping these in. And then I'll let them cook. This is, it's four chicken breasts, 
about a bag and a half of mixed vegetables, three, two or three stalks of celery. Normally I do a half a, normally I do a half an onion, but since Thad's stomach's not really there to this right now, I'm, uh, I eliminated the onion. I figured he didn't need that. You know, sometimes, sometimes when you don't feel too good, you, you don't need anything to irritate it even more. I have to order business cards. I haven't I, I haven't done that with my new phone number because I had to get a new phone number. So uh, so I have to get new business cards with my new phone number. The biggest thing is trying to keep them even. That's why I scoop it with this little scooper. Yeah, I I got a call that a friend of mine, she, uh, she told me she was getting me a gift because I'm so sweet to her. And she's, uh, I got a call that, uh, to go pick up She'd ordered me apron, uh, two aprons for my lives. So I can't wait to go pick those up. Ooh, girl. That sounds good. Where are you at, Lori? We'll all come visit you. Um, Oh, many chats at mess. I had to get somebody else to help me. I had to go to a 15 year old girl to help me with mini chat, which is really sad. Yeah, we're all going to Lori's house. You just got to know the directions. What state are we going to? We're going to have a retreat at Lori's house on my page. I'll teach y'all a few things on how to make a few things. And Lori will cook for her. Sound good, Lori? Oh, girl, I love Tennessee. Yeah. Sounds like a good fun, fun time to me. <laughs> Everybody else has fancy retreats. We're going to just have a retreat to Lori's house for supper. <laughs> yeah. Oh, if you like bake, if you do regular bacon, these these taste good if you fry them in bacon grease with a little bacon grease too. And you can chop some onions up in them. But uh, like I said, Thad's tummy ain't ain't happy right now, so onions ain't gonna go in it. Sometimes I'll put some green peppers in these. 
But with his tummy not feeling good, I, uh, I'm going kind of bland right now. today girl we made some chicken and dumplings and we're gonna make some uh, burrito some breakfast burrito <laughs> I am making some chicken and dumplings. I made chicken and dumplings, and now I'm gonna I'm making breakfast burritos. I'm just waiting for my hash browns to get done. I like those these good good and crisp. I don't like them soggy. The soggy burrito, soggy hash browns just just ain't my jam. Soggy, greasy hash browns is ugh. I like mine brown. Okay, I'm going to show you how to how to do the burritos. Uh, the only thing is, we'll have to wait on the hash browns. But there's always a always a la, always seems like there's always one thing that's not cooked when I do these, and I have to wait on it. Hey, Barb, talk to you this morning, girl. Yeah, Oscar, he's uh he's looking for handouts on the floor. He's hoping I drop stuff. I'm going to start with my soft tortilla. Yeah, it seems like my work's never done. And dang, I dropped that on the floor. Forget that one. Yeah, that's what Thad, that's what Thad was, uh, when I got sick, Thad didn't, didn't know how to act because I just couldn't do anything. I was just too weak. And he sure wasn't used to that. He said, "You normally move around and do things so fast. I can't. You people can't keep up with you." Oh, girl. Mini chat something else. They said it. I don't know. I sent my sent one out today, hoping you know 
but I'm still denied. And I thought, well, I'll send him out, send one out because it'd been a while. Adding some cheese. Add a slice of bacon. I'm gonna break up the sausage. Add some eggs. I fried a dozen eggs. And then I'll top with hash browns. And what I do is I roll it this way. Well, I roll it this way. This way. And probably Eva could do it better than I do. Because I seem like I always overstuff mine. Then roll it this way. Then I roll it up in the paper. The plastic. And then the aluminum foil. That's, yeah, Thad loves the burritos. And our neighbors, oh my goodness, they love when we bring them down extra burritos. Because they're great for breakfast, but sometimes I have one for lunch or supper. I lo We like them so well, so... Yeah, I always overstuff my burritos, but yeah, I'll just add the uh, hash browns when they're done, and, and that's it. That That's how you do the burritos. They're so simple, and you can take these and you can freeze them, so if you have a busy day, you have to hurry up and go to work, you can just pop them out of the freezer, and take them out of the tin foil, pop them in the microwave for just a little bit, pull them out, add salsa, sour cream, guacamole, whatever you like. You have a nice breakfast. Or you can take these. We take these on trips, and that way you can grab them and go on a trip and just warm them up. Because a lot of rest areas and a lot of different places now have microwaves. And we have the camper. These are great to take camping. If you're a camper, these are, these are the thing. Oh, girl, we got breakfast burritos, which I know uh, Emily makes better ones than Melissa does. But in Houston, Texas, Thad is thought somebody thought Thad bought them at uh, at a local uh, food truck, and it was no, it was mine. And I also made uh, I also made. Chicken and dumplings for supper. So I got all the things covered, Emily. Hey, Emily, how's my signs coming, girl? I can't wait to get them. I can't wait to see what they turn out like. The only thing is, hey, Emily, is it just me or do you overstuff your burritos too? I always overstuff my burritos. today I have I had Damon now I have Emily yeah I I need to work on my cookbook I need to just take the time and just work on my cookbook I need to just sit down and do it but I haven't worked on it for a while so I need to get busy 
because I know that's a project that's going to take me a while. <laughs> you overstuff everything. Okay. Yeah, I thought it was just me. I figured you wouldn't do that. Or is that the authentic way to do that from Texas? Overstump the burrito. But yeah, I I over I put extra vegetables in my in my chicken and dumplings. Because the doctors are telling Thad he needs more vegetables. And I left the onion out because he's got his tummy ain't feeling good. This is a great recipe when the whole family has the flu or a tummy bug. Okay, everybody have a good day. Uh, I'm going to finish up and... Uh, and uh, you guys take care and keep on crafting. And if you haven't tried the uh, hash browns in a box that you just put hot water and dehydrate, they're awesome. They last longer and they don't get freezer burnt like your freezer ones. So we really like those. They have a long shelf life. Uh, and they're really inexpensive. We get ours at Costco. <laughs> oh, okay. I'll have to remember. So, so I guess that I'm Texas when I overstuff my burrito. You have a good day, Emily. Don't work too hard. Get some rest, girl. Bye, everybody. <laughs>